Canada's Wonderland is set to make stomach-dropping, heart-racing history. They're planning to build not just Canada's first ever dive coaster, but the biggest one in the world. And our intrepid reporter, Chris Glover, worked on this <laughs> the one. The lucky one. The roller coaster is the biggest capital investment in the park's history. Yeah, I don't know if you could call this work, but it's definitely <laughs> been work for them. The construction of this record-breaking coaster actually began in January, and it has gone on in secret all season long. Now we can show you exactly what's in store. For weeks, what's behind this tarp has peaked inquiring minds at Canada's Wonderland, the amusement park just north of Toronto. Maybe like a little petting zoo or something. I think they're going to make a huge roller coaster. Do you think it's a roller coaster? No, it's not enough room for a roller coaster. I'll probably make something else to make you throw up. <laughs> Now we can show you inside, even though it's still a construction site until next year. The Yukon Striker is planned to be the tallest, fastest, and longest dive coaster in the world. Right now, this adrenaline rush in Ohio has the record. What has that been like trying to hide it from the guests? Because, I mean, I see this this fence isn't that high. It's It's been tough because you can't hide a dive coaster. They're massive. They are really massive. And um, we're bringing track in already, and the track is massive. It's about 50% wider than Leviathan's is. At Canada's Wonderland, this ride, the Leviathan, has been the premier roller coaster since 2012. Oh my, I have never done this ride before. It'll still be faster than Yukon Striker. And it'll still be taller than Yukon Striker as well. But the nearly 80 degree drop. That'll be eclipsed. Oh, yeah. It's hard to imagine it can get any better than that. But Wonderland says Yukon Striker will be better. At the top of the drop, the train actually stops and it holds everybody pitched over that 245 foot drop for three seconds. And so that's going to take people's breath away. It sounds terrifying. Yeah. And then as soon as the brakes release, you shoot down into an underwater tunnel and you're going from zero to 130 kilometers an hour. It's going to be wild. Above ground, this is what the tunnel looks like, but underground, it's 95% complete. I feel like this is like every little boy's dream come true, being able to build a roller coaster. What do you think of that? It, it's, it's pretty awesome. My kids think I have the best job in the world. We get to, uh, we get to have a lot of fun playing uh, and building what everybody loves, uh, roller coasters. A lot of fun, no doubt. Now, I spoke with the safety authority that approves and enforces all amusement rides in Ontario, and the agency says so far it has not received any design plans from Wonderland about the Yukon Striker. But as you saw there, Dwight, the construction is well underway, and the park anticipates testing will begin in March of next year, just in time for next season. Here is the test. And I'll go test it. Right here. <laughs> you yeah, have my brave word. Brave man. Don't take me with you. <laughs>